What's going on there guys? Good Saturday evening. It is the Earth Master here on the live stream with an update uh, video on this beautiful evening here in California. About 77 degrees. We hit about 82 degrees here in California. It is uh, 7.04 p.m. California time here, April 2nd, 2022. Of course, latest quake on the Earthquake 3D globe shows some movement out here in the big island of Hawaii. And also up here with a 2.5 into the area of the Gulf of Alaska. Let's go ahead and check out this latest movement here on the uh, map here from the USGS. Movement kicking up here in the Pacific Ocean here. Let's see the uh, activity, latest earthquake activity here around Mauna Loa. Seeing a little bit of movement here. We'll go ahead and drop this down to the uh, all magnitude so we can get a little bit better detail of activity. Uh, seeing a little, little bit of swarming up here around the summit area of Mauna Loa. Just a couple of small microquakes up there. Looks like the largest one so far, 2.6. Southeast region of the Big Island still seeing some activity. Of course, very typical here. A little bit of activity out in the Lohi Seamount just to the southeast with a 1.9 there at 8.8 .8 miles below the surface. So pretty deep movement out there. So what do we got? Looking at the big picture here, kind of seeing a little bit of forward, westward movement. Uh, all kind of taking place here around the uh, Loyalty Islands area and northward. Of course, we've seen quite a bit of movement here in this area over the past week. Today, a couple of fives, in the, including a 4.8 in that area of the world. A little bit of deeper movement. Also up here around the Tonga area, north of Tonga. They had a 5.2 at 6.2 miles. Up here, Philippines, south of the Philippines here, southern part of the Philippine plate. Seen some activity as well, including a pretty deep 64 mile deep 4.4 uh, earthquake. So if you notice, I have kind of switched up the uh, kilometers to the mile range here. So it may not seem as deep, but when we talk about 64 miles, a little bit on the deeper side when it comes to the uh, kilometer stage so we're kind of transitioning into that uh, uh into the mile format here I, I, i've been covering kilometers for no telling how long but uh you know it just kind of helps us all i think when we uh, switch over to miles and whatnot so we'll, we'll see how that works out uh, japan Quite a bit of activity ramping up right around the area of Japan, south into the Philippine Plate, and also just off the coast of Tokyo. Seeing some deeper movement. Look at this. Look at this earthquake here. 108 miles below the surface. That's pretty deep for a 4.4. So a lot of movement taking place here over the last 24 hours within this region. The Kuro Kamachaka Trench, though, remains quiet. This is a little bit uneasy. I'm kind of... Uh, putting my finger on this area possibly for some larger scale movement here pretty soon. So um, I can't say my, mark my words because it's, you never know, right? But it's been awfully quiet here. Japan Trench northward into this area. We got to watch that pretty closely. It's just kind of a quiet zone. Quiet zones tend to give that telltale sign of some uh, future large earthquakes. The Aleutian Trench, some movement out there as well. Uh, nothing significant going on out there. Let's check out the west coast here into the region of California. California is always lighting up. But look at this. Something is going on with the reporting um, throughout the Oregon and Washington area. Somebody is not doing their job. I, I, I don't want to throw people under the bus because I'll probably be shut down again at 4 o'clock in the morning. I just Every time I speak up about the lack of reporting, I get shut down. I was, somebody pulls the plug. But come on, over the past few days, you're, you're telling me there's no earthquake activity being recorded here throughout the Pacific Northwest? Okay, oh my goodness, that's just, that's, uh, that's, that's not true. We all know that there's some earthquake activity occurring. It may not be big, but there's earthquake activity occurring nonetheless in the region. I want to show you guys the latest trimmer map here tonight, today. 581 epicenters of trimmer continues into the Cascadia subduction zone. That's a pretty large amount of earthquake or uh, trimmer activity occurring. 
And uh, we're seeing some subsequent movement upstream in Northern California, but the lack of reporting up here throughout the Pacific Northwest is not showing the uh, possible uh, movement that's taken place there due to that subduction zone up, or due to the tremor activity into the Pacific Northwest. So let's look at, I kind of want to give you guys an overview since about the 1st of March to the, uh, what, what do we got, 2nd of April? Well, it's got the 3rd of April, but 2nd of April. Let's see what we got here for uh, seismograph views. Release trimmer activity. So that's a pretty large scale amount, folks, of uh, trimmer. And it's pretty much the entire length of the Cascadia. I know the Cascadia sits up here, um, up here north of the Vancouver Island ranges. The only spot we're kind of missing is up here around the Olympia southward. But uh, we're we're looking at some major movement here along the Cascadia, and I I still think there's a very strong possibility with this increased movement here and the activity we've seen over the past couple of years here of of, of seeing a, a pretty good earthquake out here. Um, I I think the likelihood is amplified here with this recent movement along the Cascadia. Ten. 1,843 epicenters of tremor. The list is so big, it's not even going to generate the uh, the uh, energy release here. So, let's go ahead and move on here. I, I, I just don't, I, I don't see the Maybe, hey, maybe they don't know. Okay, I think maybe we should write in, tell the USGS, hey, we haven't seen any earthquake activity up here in the Pacific Northwest in uh, about five days. What's going on? Oh, we got an error. There's an error going on here, folks. We need to we need to fix it, and, and then we'll get it up and running. So I, I don't know. I, it just it bugs me. It really bugs me, the lack of reporting from a... Uh, official agency such as the USGS and whoever else monitors the earthquake activity here in the Pacific Northwest. It just, it, it's a, uh, you know, it gets a little irritating. But what can I do? What, I'm only one man. I'm here on this side. I don't own the USGS. I'm not associated with the USGS. Um, if I was associated, and uh, you know, who knows? Um, I would definitely be reporting earthquake activity that's uh, occurring up there. Let's go ahead and check out the volcanic uh, seismicity throughout the region. And that, that can kind of give us a telltale sign of uh, any earthquake activity uh, in the general Pacific Northwest region that uh, may be occurring. So we're not going to go through all these folks. We're going to check out just a couple. Uh, really, over the past couple hours, nothing being reported there. I can, I can tell. Um, I'm pretty good at reading seismographs, and uh, th there was nothing reported, or at least recorded on that seismograph there. So let's check the previous day here real quick. Uh, kind of waiting on that. Check that out. I mean, guys, what do you see when you look at this? W what do you see? Is that a bird flying by? Is it a frog croaking amongst the uh, uh, beautiful snow? On Mount St. Helens, is it maybe Bigfoot walking across the forest? Is it an asteroid attack? Or is this a seismograph earthquake? I don't know. I mean, I cannot check that out. You cannot get any more well-defined in earthquake activity than that signature right there. That is an earthquake. It's not a micro, it's, well, it's probably under 2.0, but it's an earthquake. It's not an ice quake. It's not Bigfoot. It's not uh, who knows what. <laughs> I'm just kind of using the examples here. But that is an earthquake. And we've seen this over the past couple days here amongst many volcanoes. So how come this earthquake activity is not being reported throughout the USGS? Throughout the, PN, uh, the uh, PNSN network? Why is the absent earthquake activity going ongoing here throughout the region? This does not happen. There's not any earthquake activity occurring here. It just it doesn't happen here in a seismically active zone. So we turn to these recorded seismographs to verify 
the activity that's still ongoing throughout the Pacific Northwest. So what do we got here? I'm getting a little air. I've never seen that in my response. I wonder if the uh, the USGS is watching this right now and they're just kind of bombarding. Who who knows what? I've never seen this little error out here. Let me refresh this and see. All right, still showing nothing. We know there's something, right? We know there's activity occurring throughout the Pacific Northwest, but unless we go through the thousands of seismographs up and down the Pacific Northwest, uh, we, we don't really know the true extent of earthquake activity that's occurring up here right now due to the extreme Cascadia tremor. And I'm kind of blaming it on that because tremor activity, folks, no doubt enhances upstream earthquake activity. And also throughout the Cascade range, right? If you're getting tremor activity, down dip, downstream, slippage, if you will, creating the pressure along the cascades and upward upstream here along the locked area so i i don't know i can only go over this so many times without getting uh super crazy because i'm just i i don't like it when stuff gets kind of hidden and stuff back you know on the back burner stuff should be reported here so it, it just it doesn't make sense here last seven days of activity does show some movement throughout the pacific northwest but uh, man you know, I don't know if they're waiting for a couple days and then adding the earthquake activity on or not, but uh, this should be filled with at least some earthquake activity throughout the Pacific Northwest, and it's not, not being recorded. Let's move on through that irritation level, and uh, we'll chat about some activity outside of that uh, zone. The world view, what do we got going on? Of course, we all that activity throughout the Philippine plate, down south of the Manila, uh, Manila area, the Philippines, Tonga region, all seen some activity ramp up, right? And of course, the Hawaii area seen some activity ramp up around Mono Loa, including a 2.6 here within the last hour. South America, though, is the one I'm kind of questioning here. Because this area still seems to be very quiet in terms of earthquake activity here over the past couple weeks. So I know this is a major subduction zone area and it's been uh, it's kind of been acting a little fishy in terms of uh, releasing any type of buildup here. So we know, we definitely know that the accumulated and slip rate is very high throughout the region. But uh, it's not putting out the numbers that we would normally see in the subduction zone. So watch watch this area pretty closely. Yellowstone National Park. What's going on up, up there? Man, I got hiccups. What's going on? Somebody's got a, uh, a voodoo doll of me trying to give me hiccups and messing with my voice. A little bit of activity up here. Northwest corner of the Yellowstone National Park. A couple spikes here. You can see those on the overview. Overall, though, no major seismic activity to report at Yellowstone National Park. Uh, I think the solar weather activity is kind of above that level right now. Seeing a mix of KP indexes and um, uh, as far as elevation, uh, elevated storms go and radiated, radiation storms go, uh, things are kind of kicking up here from the sunspots. They are now facing away from Earth. It's going to be 2975, newly developed region, 2984. 2976. Imagine if all those developed into one massive sunspot and created a super flare. I think that's very possible. Watch this over the next few days and see if that happens. Watch it very closely, okay? Uh, just remember those words. As far as Earthside um, directed sunspots, some stability here with 2978, a little bit of instability with 2981 there with the mixing of the magnetic fields. We'll see what these other sunspots produce here uh, in the coming days. But uh, overall, you know, there's still that elevated chance of some uh, flaring going on there from the departing sunspots. Proton levels at 99%. There you can see the global D-layer absorption map indicated there of the uh, magnetic field and the protons hitting the Earth. C flare remains at 99% chance, M flare at 70, and 25% chance of an X flare from these sunspots. All right, folks, we're going to jump off here. Have a good night. Please stay safe out there. 
And uh, I wonder what happened to my browser right there. Hold on one second. Let's see if we can get that baby come back. There we go. All right. We're back. It just it, It's odd. It seems like when I speak up, things start to happen. Things start to uh, become suspicious, right? I'm just a user here on this end with a network up to an IP address and a, and a server. But who knows uh, who knows what kind of hackers are out there when it comes to uh, shutting down channels and, uh, and uh, such. So hopefully it doesn't happen. I get, I get tired of it. I get tired of the people uh, killing the stream. All it does is just it kind of messes up the uh, notifications here for the subscribers of the YouTube channel. But uh, it is what it is, so we'll we'll deal with it. Uh, let's go ahead and fix the uh, magnitude. Magnitude. See, I, I don't know. I think the culprit here might be the Earthquake 3D program. It kind of changes on its own. I mean, it changes the magnitudes and the amount of earthquake activity out here in the globe, and it's it shouldn't do that. It's uh it's all manually adjusted here on this end. Just kind of weird. But uh, it is what it is. All right, folks, we will chat at you guys another night. Please stay safe out there. It's Saturday night. There is a lot of crazy people out there, let me tell you. It's just not only here in California, but I'm sure across the globe. Best thing to do, right? Stay safe. Lock your doors. Remain safe here behind your, behind your, uh, you know, in your safe zone. That's that's kind of how I am 24-7. I hate going outside my gate. I hate it but it is what it is all right have a good night guys <laughs> peace out